Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. This week, we're talking about size of latex balloons. So we sell two brands of latex balloons. We sell Qualitex and we sell Bell Bell. Both are very good quality. However, you'd probably want to use Qualitex for some things and Bell Bell for other things. So if you're a balloon decorator or a balloon artist, we would recommend nothing but Qualitex balloons. They're consistent in shape, size, and color. And the main thing for me is they've got long stretchy necks, so it doesn't hurt your fingers as much when you're tying knots. Now, Bell Bell balloons, they are good if you are wanting a more cost-effective solution. They are cheaper than the Qualitex balloons. If the shape, our size doesn't matter as much, for instance, if you're doing a balloon drop, or if you don't need to tie a knot in them because the necks aren't as long. So if you're putting them on sticks, for instance, then that is absolutely fine. We use Bell Bell balloons for all our printing because the necks are shorter, so they stay more secure on the machine when we're printing on them. So both brands are very good, um, but they both have their uses. So we'll start with the Qualitex balloons first. Now we'll start with the, the five inch. Now the five inch Qualitex balloons, they are a staple for any, any balloon decorator really. Um, Mark, if you've seen him on any of our previous shows when he's come in to create some amazing creations, he uses the five inch balloons a lot. Use them for the collar of a bubble balloon, for instance. You can use them for a base of a topiary tree. You can use them to uh, put in walls to fill in gaps. You can use them for all, all sorts of different things. So you definitely want five inch balloons. And the 11 inch balloon is absolutely the must have balloon balloon for any balloon decorator. Um, 11 inch Qualitex, the industry standard, I would say. Now this is the 16 inch. Now we're starting to get into the bigger balloons now. Now the 16 inch is used for doing double bubbles, for instance, when you put an 11 inch balloon inside a, a 16 inch and then you get a balloon inside a balloon. Also, if you just want bigger bunches of balloons or bigger pieces of balloon art, you use the, the slightly bigger balloon. And then we get up to the big boys. This is the, the, the largest balloon shaped balloon that uh, Qualitex do, it's the 24 inch. I've inflated that to about 23 inches, mainly because I get a bit scared. Um, but the other reason is I was using an air inflator with no extender nozzle on it. Um, when you're inflating these bigger balloons, it's recommended that you use, if you're helium filling, you use one of the trigger outlets that, that Mark uses whenever he's here doing anything, or you use a little extension on the air inflators to go as far down into the balloon as possible. And then that reduces the risk of them becoming that horrible pear-shaped um, balloon. So you can see that that is probably, I'd say it's, it's probably just about to become pear-shaped. Um, and that's because I wasn't using that extender nozzle. So um, yeah, that'll be a recommendation there. Now, the Bell Bell balloons, we sell three sizes of Bell Bell balloons. We sell the 10 inch, the 12 inch, and a two foot one. Now I'm gonna start by showing you the 12 inch against the 11 inch Qualitex. You can see it's more or less the same size. However, I did stop inflating this balloon um, when I felt it was starting to go a little bit out of shape. However, if you look at the top of it, you can see that there is probably still quite a lot more stretch there. So that could probably go considerably bigger. However, the shape would start to become a little bit pear shaped. Now let's put the 10 inch next to the 11 inch from Qualitex. Again, I stopped when I thought it was starting to go a little bit out of shape. Uh, and you can see that is considerably smaller than the 11 inch. But once again, if you look at the top of it, you'd be able to see that there is probably still quite a lot more room to, to stretch in there. Now, the other size balloon, as I say, from Bell Bell, is the two foot balloon. Now, this is the, a spherical balloon. However, as you can see, I've inflated this to about 23 inches. And I'd say that's just starting to go a little bit out of shape. If I'd inflated that to 22 inches, that would have been pretty, close to spherical. So this is probably the most cost effective spherical balloon that there, there is. And it takes a lot less helium, surprisingly uh, uh, much less helium than you'd expect. Um, so they're a, a, a good balloon. Now there are bigger balloons. We, we also stock the three foot balloon from Qualitex. We stock in, made out of chloroprene, the, the four foot, the five and a half foot, and the eight foot balloon. However, unfortunately, they're too big for me to inflate here in the studio. I'm really sorry. So we're gonna have to go somewhere else and do it. Follow me. 
So here we are, we're in the warehouse, the only place big enough to show you these next few balloons. Right, um, I'm gonna start with a three foot balloon. You're probably quite familiar with three foots, but here's one that we have inflated to about 34 inches. Three foot balloons, really popular. Um, they are, they're, they're, they're great. At weddings, the last few years, people have used a lot of these just because I think they're so impactful on their own. You don't need a bunch of them or lots of other adornments to it. Um, just a three foot on its own in the middle of a table. Um, if you've got a big high ceiling or something like that can really make a difference. But people use these for um, all, all sorts of decoration and they're used in some, some larger balloon art as well. But that's not the biggest, oh no. We now move to the cloud buster balloons. Um, these are by Qualitex and they are, they're, they're called chloroprene. It's a mix of natural and synthetic latex. This is a four foot one. This is actually inflated to four feet. So um, it's still got some give in it as well, but uh, these are used for outdoor events. They're used for festivals. People, a lot of bands use these to, to throw them into the crowd. So yeah, four foot, you're starting to get, you're starting to get big now. And now we have this one. This, this is five and a half feet. Not quite inflated to five and a half feet, but um, well, you can see it's pretty big. These also used for outdoor events. If you're filling these with helium, they take a lot of helium. I think you need a full tea size. Actually, I'm not sure, but we'll put the, the volume on the, um, on the screen, but I think it, it takes a, a, a big old cylinder there. So that's five and a half foot, same sort of thing. People throw them out into the crowd and outdoor events. But that's not the biggest one. The biggest one is so big, it, it won't even fit in this space. So I've got to show you over here, follow me. So this is it, the biggest balloon we hold. It's, it's an eight foot chloroprene balloon. As you can see, it's pretty big. It's being supported by Nick, James. I can only recognize people by their legs. Nick, James, Martin, and Emily. Everybody say hello. hello. It, it takes four people to hold. It took five of us to inflate this thing. It took 20 minutes. It's not even inflated fully. That's only inflated to under seven feet. As you can see, it's absolutely massive. Um, perfect for crowds and thrown into crowds. And if you wanna have a massive impact, that would take a full, if you're gonna helium fill it, a full L-size cylinder. You know, the really big cylinders. So that would be, yeah, that'd be quite expensive. Anyway. Uh, oh, question of the week. What is the biggest balloon you have ever used? Leave your comments below on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you next week. Bye. We're, we're, we're growing. We're doing business. We're doing okay. And I guess the stage that it's time to employ somebody. What do we do there? Right. Well, this is the next big step. But we never showed how to actually create the topiary tree. So Mark has joined us today to show us exactly how to do that. So Mark, over to you. Well, there's lots of different styles of topiary trees, but they all start with a classic piece of decor, which is the topiary ball.